Welcome to MCC TV. Now guys, this video is about David Lewis. Now guys, I just wanted to sit down with you guys and talk about the rumour, rumours and speculation that's been breaking over the last couple of hours. Now, I saw a few tweets going around on Twitter um, about David Lewis apparently missing um, training with the Chelsea first team today and him possibly moving to Arsenal. I thought, God, this can't be true. And then it's now hit Sky Sports and it's looking like it could be true. We obviously don't know yet, 100% set in stone. Um, we don't know what's obviously been said behind closed doors. There's obviously something that's happened and gone on um, and obviously it's on Sky Sports. So yeah, like where, where to start, you know? Like obviously we don't know the reason why he's he's missed first team training today but is it because he's trying to force a move to arsenal does he want to go there we really don't know yet um it's it's come out quite randomly and out of the blue in my opinion i mean it's not great timing either is it i mean our first premier league away game of the season is on Sunday against Manchester United at Old Trafford so the timing's not great um but you can only smile you know like it's unbelievable isn't it like we kick start the 2019 to 2020 season this weekend and this has just happened now we're losing a key defender to our team now obviously David Lewis is a massive part to the Chelsea side and um, he's got a lot of experience he knows what it's like to wear a Chelsea shirt and um, he's been Chelsea for many years obviously he did go to other clubs like PSG and stuff and then come back to Chelsea and um, so we know him quite well as a player but to see all this going on I'm, I'm really shocked and I'm not going to sit here and make any judgment you know and like some fans are starting to kick off a little bit saying oh god why is he doing this but like he's got to chill like we, we don't know the 100% facts yet we don't know what's true and what's not and sometimes with these situations you never do really find out because it's behind closed doors it just happens behind closed doors a move might be made and then digs or comments will be made by the player maybe in a in a few weeks i don't know but i don't think anyone should just jump to conclusions just yet and panic at the end of the day this might all be rumors might not even be true might not be happening but i just wanted to talk to you guys anyways and when you see certain reliable sources releasing this kind of information it it, it does it does look very very like something's going on anyway it's like quite true and um, yeah but um a lot of well i personally think david lewis is a great player and as i said he's a key part of the chelsea side he knows what it means to wear the chelsea shirt however i was actually writing down my predicted starting 11 for manchester united versus chelsea yesterday evening and i sat there and i was just writing it out um for my preview and I didn't actually put David Lewis in the Chelsea start at 11 team now I'm not going to say my start 11 Chelsea team now for United away on Sunday because I don't want to ruin it and I'll be putting that in the preview so check that out with a bit of self promo there um but yeah I didn't actually put David Lewis in the start at 11 on Sunday um I do think he's a great player and I do think obviously he deserves first team football but I I don't think it's it is obviously like an issue and a problem because he's one of our key defenders and we need him on our side. But I don't think it's going to be the be all and end all if he does leave us. We've got some great defenders and um, we need to be playing the youth anyway. We've got Christiansen and um, Christiansen's just as good, you know, like we've got some really good defenders. So it's not too much of like something to go crazy about, you know, like we just need to chill. Also, um, we've, like Rudiger is injured and he will be back so we just need to chill out and um, think fans are just getting a bit up tense about this and obviously it is a bit of an upset isn't it really things have been quite good at our club at the moment obviously we had some of the things that were going on last season that unsettled the fan base a lot and the club things weren't great and then obviously we got Frank Lampard in like Georgie Morris came in Petr all the good backroom staff and um, all the youths come back we've got a real good togetherness and team spirit and I just hope this isn't shaking things up um I mean let's face it it's it's gonna cause a little bit of upset and uncertainty and unsettle a few people but at the end of the day it's just one of them things we're just gonna have to see what happens but I will be keeping you up to date with how this story progresses and any more information I will be keeping you guys up to date but let's just hope I'm not sitting here on, my, on another video saying that David Lowe has gone to Arsenal because that'll be sad like we 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 don't want to lose him he's a good player but at the end of the day he's if he personally wants to go he can go and it, it's a bit like when like Eden Hazard left and Diego Costa went if your heart's in another club like at the end of the day if even if you served like a really good spell at your club if a player wants to go they want to go it's as simple as that now a, 
most players that have left Chelsea have left in a really respectful way. Costa did, Morata did, Hazard did, but then there was the likes of Courtois left in a very disrespectful manner and that was not good. But some fans have already started to jump on David Luiz's back saying, oh, um, what, like if he wants to go, go. But we're just going to have to wait and see what's been said. Because obviously, if you've served like a good spell at a club and you've been there for many seasons or whatever and you've done really well, you should not always leave the club in a respectful manner. But I just think people need to chill out and want to see what happens, you know? Um, but yeah, but thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below all your thoughts and opinions on these David Lewis rumours. Do you think they're true? Do you not? We'll just see how this story progresses and plans out. Hopefully he's not going anywhere. I don't want him to go. Um, he's one of our key defenders, as I said, and we need him in our Chelsea side. But if he, do, if he was to go, it's not the be-all and end-all because we have got many options. We'll just have to wait and see. I love you all. I'll keep you up to date and up the Chelsea. Thanks.